Good evening. Another audio file. A lot to take in, you know. I just scored my third and fourth knockdown ever with uh, some boxing gloves. It was weird because they were different boxing gloves. The first one was Venom, the second one was Twins, the third one was, and the fourth one was Hayabusa. And it really made me think, and I'm going to jump on this as well when I can in the morning. But, you know, if you don't wear the gloves, no, no. The gloves don't define you as a fighter, you know. The, fight, the gloves don't wear you, you wear the gloves. And understanding that discrepancy, the difference between a great fighter and a, and a bad fighter, you know. Floyd Mayweather could wear Peter Race, he could wear Winning, he could wear Gran, he could wear, you know, Venom, he could wear Adidas, he could wear any sort of glove he want, he will still be Floyd Mayweather. Nothing takes that away from him, nothing changes that for him. So... Sorry, I'm close to the mic now, so you guys can hear me. And nothing changes that for him. He's still the great fighter that he is. And I, I, I couldn't stop thinking about it because, you know, I, I had this thought the entire time. Oh, but this glove has too much padding, and this has too much padding. The reality is, is that, you know, if you are a great fighter, you can make any item shine. You can make any of the equi- your equipment shine. You can have some shitty Everlast gloves that you bought for like fucking ten pounds. You can make it shine if you are. A complete fighter if you are a warrior deep within your heart, you know. And anyways, I met this guy called, um, I'm not going to leak out his full name, but I met this guy. And yeah, he's he's a great guy, to be honest. He's he's really, he's a really nice guy. And yeah, bro, I fucking, I fucking knocked his ass down. We body sparred, trained, hit me hard, I hit him hard. I still feel the like pain right now in my solar plexus and in my uh, stomach a bit. That's pretty much it. Every time I breathe, it hurts. To be perfectly honest, if he hits hard, he hit me a few times hard. I poker faced. I knocked him down twice. He got tired. He got he got a thing. He got overwhelmed. And I just found the, the right opening at the right time. And, you know, fucking hit him in the liver, hit him in the little plexus. And, yeah, bro, Wednesday, I got my second ever knockout, knockdown. And Friday, I get, I can't spar, so I just go to the gym and I meet some guy. And then, boom, before you know it, as fate heralds it, I knock him down on his ass. And I never underestimated once in in in, in spar, you know. I I, I never uh, it's probably spar by the way. I never underestimated once. You never underestimate your opponent, you know. What did John Jones say? He said, "If I give these guys the respect they deserve, if I give these guys, if I meticulously meticulously spend the time that I need to spend, and give these guys the respect they deserve and attention they deserve, I truly think that I am not designed to be beaten." And I think completely and utterly a similar way. You know, what does Neo anyway think? Bro, he, he studied. Like, it doesn't matter, like, he he, he had a close fight with Nito Donaire. Nito Donaire is Nito Donaire, okay? He's a hell of a fighter. He's a hell of a warrior. Neo anyway still took the liberty to study him and not underestimate him and won that fight. With the second fight as well. Bro, he knocked him out in a few seconds flat. Like, that is greatness, bro. That is greatness meticulously studying and analyzing your opponent, meticulously studying, reflecting and analyzing yourself, meticulously understanding the reasons why you do what you do and pushing irregardless to do what needs to be done. That is greatness, bro. I'm sorry you guys can't see my facial expression when I make these videos, but I'll up attack so you guys can see sign, you know. <laughs> Maybe some images as well, just to make you guys feel special. That is greatness, motherfucker. Greatness is, you know, it's, it's, it's not being guarded by the people, it's being accepted by the people. It's being accepted by yourself, you know? Fuck, dude. Fuck. Anyway, yeah, I scored that, those two knockdowns. I wanted to keep going low-key, but I realized that I'm going to hurt him. And he, he did a ten, two ten counts, bro. So he would have lost that, so whatever. Um, he's a hell of a warrior. I'm not going to take that away from him. He's a hell of, hell of a warrior. Yeah. I also gave my um, my second knockdown. I had a twins gloves on. And then, you know, my friend was like, I'm not your friend anymore. I could tell his ego was hurt. His ego was damaged. And, yeah, I felt the same way when I was knocked down as well. I underestimated my opponent during sparring. I decided to go light. I decided to hesitate, feign, play around. And, yeah, I paid the price ultimately. And oh, I, I genuinely think that I deserved everything that came towards me in that moment. You know, I, I, ne- I never once underestimated my opponent from that day onwards not once I'm always vigilant always aware always studying always trying to seek angles trying to see weaknesses 
I see vulnerabilities I can expose. You know, that that's the fighter that I should be. That's the fighter I should always be. You know what? What did um was it was it Michael Jordan? I don't think it was Michael Jordan, but it was another guy. Another another black dude, and it, it's 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 hard to say black dude because like that seems a bit you know. Demoralizing because he's such like bro. I, I put it, I put the video on here for you guys to see. You, you guys watching? <laughs> like bro, he is such like an endearing character, and he tells you some shit like, bro, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck bitches, fuck everything, bro. It's time to focus. It's time to grind. The weirder you are, is a sign of your commitment to your focus, of your idea, of your craft, bro. Shit, it sounds like it's waffling. It's not, bro. The only people that find this waffling are fucking stupid, bro. They don't understand. Like, if if, if you are genuinely like starting from the bottom, you're worth nothing. You are nothing. Having that tenacity to improve, understanding your reality and, and understanding that you can improve. These two things are, are, are critical, bro. Critical towards your self-development. What does Luke Belmar say? Reiterate, reiterate, reiterate. <laughs> I don't mean to mock him there, but it's, he says it a lot. And, but he's not wrong. But he genuinely is not wrong. He, he's so correct and he's so on the money when they reiterate. Everyone should be reiterating. Like you do a hundred actions for your business, only twenty five of them real results, a quarter of them real results. What is happening? Reiterate like you know what I'm saying it's same with boxing, same with sports, same with cricket, same with anything you could possibly imagine that you you, you dare to do you dare to be great, bro you will need to reiterate that is the secret to success, like oh my God, man. Holy shit, so much doubt, so much like, you know, pain, so much suffering. Oh, I, I go through all of this. Why? Bro, because I, bro, I, want, I want to be a world champion. I want to be glorious. I want to be a conqueror. I want to achieve. I want to prove all the haters wrong. I want to I wanna be great. I want to be free. Like, your reasoning has to be as strong. And th that reasoning will be the basis of your motivations, of your discipline. You can only, like, I, I use an analogy all the time, discipline is for discipline, it's always said, but you need to use discipline for the right thing. You can use, it, it, for example, if you hated video games, you can use discipline to play video games for like 12 hours straight. You will somehow, some, somewhere get addicted and you might hate the game, like, I don't know, a good example that comes to my mind is Apex Legends or Warframe. Or Soul Bus 2 that I used to play. Motherfucker, man, I fucking hate that shit. I was still playing. I was addicted. I, I use discipline the entire time. Bro, discipline is used accordingly. Discipline is used intelligently, smartly. It's used for you. It, it It's doing what needs to be done when you don't feel like it. It's not doing what you don't feel like, to, like you want to do. It's not doing what you don't feel like you want to do. That's not discipline. That's idiocracy. Action without a plan is a mistake. A plan without action is a delusion. Like, bro, you you have to be a complete like individual. It's like it's like you know, Mister Mister Top G himself, Mister Top G Andrew Tate. Like he says, Jiu Jitsu and wrestling is not it's the it's not good in the street. Fair enough. But just in case I need to go on the ground, bro, I'll fucking use that shit and I'll break someone's arm. You know what I'm saying, guys? You have to be versatile as an individual. You have to be versatile as a character. You cannot confine yourself to a singular box. Because if you do, you cease to improve. And if you cease to improve, you're going to fall in the dust. It's that simple. It's that fucked. Anyway, yeah, back to the back to the lockdown. He, his ego got bruised. How my ego got bruised? The most important part is you get up and you keep fighting. No matter what, you get up and you keep fighting. That's what is. That's what the, that that is. A what? Oh. <sighs> bro, I'm I'm speechless at my own words. Bro, that's the, that's the hallmark of a warrior. That's the hallmark of a gladiator. That's the hallmark of a conqueror. You lose the battle. You lose in the moment, but you get up and you keep fighting. No matter what, no matter what, you keep fighting. That's the whole shtick. Without tenacity, you are nothing, bro. 
without motivation, you are nothing. Without discipline, you are nothing. And motivation comes and goes. I would, I would dare say motivation isn't real. But understand your motivations, your reasonings, and using discipline to reinforce these. That's that. Well, that's everything. That's what, that's what you need to be successful. Straight up. Yeah, back to the discipline argument, bro. You can only use discipline for so long. Like, you can clean toilets filled with shit for so long. But if the pay is not right, or if you're not even getting paid at all, like, motherfucker, discipline, discipline is, yeah, discipline is seldom come there. Like, what the fuck? You are using discipline. You may maybe still clean toilets for, like, another month if you're a fucking jackass. But, like, at some point, you're going to fucking throw down the fucking towel, or throw down the, the scrubber. And then you're going to be like, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? This is not good. I'm kind of fucking up. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, guys, come on. Success is not complicated. Success is difficult. That's that's the difference. I, I genuinely believe that. Success is an immensely difficult task. To become successful requires a tedious, meticulous amount of planning, a meticulous amount of of br- of brainstorming and bold bold execution execution above everything else everything comes together success is effectively two things meticulous planning bold execution meticulous planning bold execution that's pretty much it there's there, there's there is no secret ingredient what did what did uh, Poe's dad say the duck what did he say about the noodles there are, there is no secret ingredient it isn't the radishes, it isn't a special powder, it isn't MSG, it isn't salt, it isn't pepper, it isn't nothing. There is no secret ingredient. You motherfuckers look for an answer. Like me, myself, I, I always look for an answer from ChatGPT. And actually, it did help a lot with those answers. But like, I always ask it, like, what am I doing in my life? Oh, how can I get rid of the, the, the nerves from sparring? What am I doing? Do- I'm, I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous. And yeah, it's true, I am scared, I am nervous. I'm 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 extremely precarious of the future. I hear a lot of black pillars talk about like the fucking future and you know age pill and black pill and you know it's all gonna go to shit. But then they, they live shit lives, and then they don't seek to improve and they wonder why their life is shit. Like come on guys. I was listening to D B D R. I think is his name, bro. He's such a fucking loser. This guy is the biggest loser I've ever seen in my entire life. Full disrespect. Because, no offense though, full disrespect but no offense, but that's good. it's complete truth. Like you can't get offended at the truth. Like, come on, man, what's wrong with you, DBDR? What's wrong with you, man? Why why would you say such black pilling things, spreading your black pill ideology? Anyone that subscribes to it, bro, fucking subscribe to it, bro. I'm sub five human. I'm this. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. You are digging your own grave. What the fuck? And then they use some proven arguments get it, bro. Some people are wired to be at the bottom, guys. Those guys are wired to be the bottom. Be the smart individual. Choose the red pill. Choose the truth, and become better as a result because of it. Like I see guys, you know, they're on their fitness journey, and then they rationalize themselves in the gym. They're like, oh, I don't want to train that hard because I'm just doing it for fitness. Bro, fitness is everything. I people say like rationalize it when they they see me training, like I train so fucking hard. Like why are you training? Like why are you training so hard? Oh yeah, I'm gonna compete. Ah, oh, he's gonna compete. He's gonna be a boxer. Oh okay, okay, fair enough, mate. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? You should be training hard irregardless. There is great beauty to suffering. There's great beauty to hard work. There's great beauty to pushing yourself beyond your limits. Pushing yourself to pushing yourself beyond what was previously possible. Wait. Previously, you thought was possible. I like, think about the most impossible thing that you can think of, bro. It's fucking possibly. It's it, it, it's it's very probable. You're using nuclear energy to power rockets. Well, rockets move. Uh, have to, rockets have to use a propulsion system to push themselves through and the empty space of space. How can nuclear energy do this? Well, you could potentially transfer u- nuclear energy into physical mass. That you can push out. How would you do this? Fuck knows. The math would be ins- complete insanity. 
It wouldn't be some fucking E equals MC two squared M MC squared, bro. It would be fucking, whew, it would be out of this world. Literally, I didn't make the me to make that pun. But yeah, guys, that that that's that's how you become successful. It's not, it's not difficult. And yeah, bro, when I'm ultra successful, I'm gonna ma marry my fucking virgin childhood friend. Now, I'm not gonna fucking be a retard, guys. Come on, let's be realistic. I'm gonna be a fucking idiot. Like, man, man, fuck. Like, oh, oh. back to the un back to like understanding like what you are like, bro. I what was the Alex Jones clip? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah, bro, I'm kind of fucking stupid as well. I'm supposed to be good at math because I'm Asian. I'm not fucking good at math. I'm bad at English. I'm bad at vocalizing myself, being a lyricist. You know? Being an artist. I'm fucking dog shit at math. But I said I said to myself in GCSE, not in A-level though, because I fucked up that A-levels, bro. But I said to myself in GCSE, bro, I'm gonna get fucking good at math no matter what. No matter the cost, I'm going to get good at math. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. And I got good at math, bro. I was getting seven, eights, and nines, which is like the highest grades. Because I, pu I, I pushed the envelope, I applied myself, and I rigorously trained for the result that I needed to get. That's what I did. Fuck's sake, guys. Fucking, fucking weirdos. Like, oh, this black pill was so fucking annoying, bro. Like... I fell into the trap for a moment, and I just had to like take a moment to just reflect and think and just sit there and like, like analyze. I have, I listen to DB DRs like I, I download his videos in MP3s and I listen to it semi often. And I just think to myself like, what a fucking geek, man! I used to think exactly like you, exactly like you. I was on the same page, same bar, same everything. Like, you are not original. And I'm not original either. To be up and honest with you, nothing's original. But that's not. A, that's not, a, that's not a fair argument, but you are not, you are not right. Like, look at your life in 10 years. Look at my life in 10 years. I will be in an infinitely better spot. Like, I'll, I'll be in the gym talking to girls, getting laid, you know, knocking guys down, like, showing them the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Training hard, becoming a complete individual, the outlier male, and this guy will just be a fucking corpse selling at fucking wage slaving away at his job and then making a YouTube video about it talking about how hey, it's actually really good guys uh, I'm wage slaving my way my job but I don't have to think about my pain and suffering and I don't have to think about how hard life is I don't have to think about this and I can just wage slave away ha 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 like what the fuck is wrong with you that is where you grow that is where you develop that is where you become the complete individual the outlier male it is in suffering like look at me before guys before, 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 and after, 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 after. I'm looking so much better. I'm experimenting with hairstyles. I've got an insane physique for just a, a year, two years of training. Like, I, 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 to be honest with you, I could be training much harder. I could be in better, phys uh, better ph physique. I could have a better physique. I could be pushing the boundary even further, pushing that red line, pushing that dot, becoming even better, fighting more. Like, that is what I could have been. You know what I'm saying? I'm always looking at more. I'm always looking at more. Because the guy who with the abundance mindset looking at more is the guy who gets what he wants. And he might fail. He might fail again and again and again and again. But he still wants more and he will still keep going. And he wants to nothing. And nothing to get it. Like, come on, guys. I know, uh, uh, I know. I've seen this MMA fighter, MMA, this Muay Thai fighter called Taiwan Chi, um, and he's fucking. He's a cold serial killer, man. He's fucking crazy. He's his for Muay Thai is phenomenal. He's an absolute dragon. He's a monster, and yeah, I, bro, he's calm, cool, collected. And the reason why he's like this is because he knows deep in his heart that if he studies his opponent, he's meticulous within his planning, and he has bold execution. And he's calm and collected the entire, t the entire way through. If I, if I haven't mentioned that already, he will win the fight. Like he's so fucking calm in his fights, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. <sighs> but that's me. That's the end of me. It's two a.m. right now. I would like to listen to some music and then doze off to sleep and recover from this because this is fucking crazy. I don't think I'll be able to spar. 
them in so much pain. I don't think I'm going to spar Monday, but Wednesday, Friday, I'll definitely, I'll definitely give sparring a shot. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I'm horribly tired. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching or listening. And I'll see you around.